Okay, so a short video here actually to remind myself of how I fixed this. So I am running Debian 11 Bullseye, okay, and I have, all right, um, kernel 5.1, all right, so cat Etsy Debian version Bullseye, okay, Debian 11. Now, I did an apt update or an apt upgrade and it broke VMware and it broke VMware to the point that I got this um, kernel headers error okay now I installed the kernel headers and build essentials for my particular kernel so running Linux headers and passing it the uname minus R will pop in the kernel header there but it was all it was still not going to run it was still giving me a gcc error right and with a gcc uh, minus minus version okay i could see that i had the gcc installed so i don't know what to do normally in previous iterations well when we go all the way back to vmware 11 12 and stuff this used to be a nightmare back then but um I was able to fix it quite well on Debian 9 and 10 just by installing the Linux headers. So I thought maybe because I've updated the kernel and stuff, I need to reboot a couple of times. Tried that, that didn't work. Searched various forums. Um, people were writing huge like shell scripts about, about soft linking the GCC to here and there. And I tried a few of those things. Those weren't working. Took me about half an hour and then I actually did manage to fix it. And the way that I managed to fix it was by pulling the new VMware bundle and just reinstalling. Simple as that, just install the bundle over the top of the existing one. Um, so I'll put the commands in the description that I used to do this because um, it was quite frustrating. So as um, root do this wget command then just chmod. So I was on VMware. Um, hold on. I was on VMware. I was on VM Workstation 16.0. And so this is the bundle for 16.1. So I just ran wget um, and provided this. Now I'm guessing that in the future this path could be updated. I didn't actually know you could just wget this. Uh, from VMware, I always thought you had to log in and it was a, a huge hassle and stuff. So then I just chmodded it and just dot slash run it and it overwrites the previous version of VMware and it fixed it straight away. So that's the fix for it working on Debian Bullseye. Now the reason that I decided to put this in a video as well as to remind myself was the fact that there is one post on the VMware forum about Debian Bullseye that this would fix and I tried to add this comment to it okay I was going to add this comment at the top but when I tried to add it it's like oh you need to sign up so I went to sign up and then it's like oh you need to put your uh, email address in and we need your cell phone number and we need your home address and we need the password has to be like 25 characters with a special character and then so I just thought this is just so annoying that I'm just going to put it in a video and if people search then hopefully they'll find this as a solution.